Driving the Formula E car is a very different experience for the racing car drivers. It's unlike a normal car. Although when you're in the cockpit it looks quite conventional. You have a steering wheel, you have gear shift paddles, and down in the footwell you have an accelerator and a brake. There's no clutch pedal in a Formula E car. There's no clutch within a Formula E car. To pull away the driver simply selects first gear, puts his foot down the accelerator and the car will pull away quite normally. Obviously as the car pulls away the driver is going to be surprised that there's very little noise, very little vibration uh, from the motor. Then as they accelerate through the gears uh, they are actually much more aware of things like tyre noise and brake noise as the car is going around the lap which gives the driver a slightly closer feel for the car uh, unlike a petrol engine car which drowns out all of these sounds that they normally hear. Controlling of the car, there's three key controls on the steering wheel. First of all you have the power setting which decides quite how much power goes through to the motor from the battery. You then have a regenerative braking setting which allows the driver to change how much braking and how much energy is recovered under braking and you also have um, a brake pedal um, option on there as well. Furthermore as the driver is going around the lap as they go through corners they can start to play with the regenerative braking. As the car decelerates the more regenerative braking you have the more braking is actually provided by the electric motor through the rear wheels than it would be done conventionally through the hydraulic brakes. This is set, as I said, on the steering wheel, but the driver has a further way of actually controlling the regenerative braking. As they go into a corner, if they feel they need more braking or they want to recover more energy to be used elsewhere around the lap, there's an additional paddle at the top of the steering wheel and the driver can pull that in as they enter the turn and this will actually allow the electric motor to harvest more energy from the rear, braking the car more heavily and putting more power into the battery. It's quite a tricky process, most of the drivers needed quite a lot of lapping and simulation work in order to get used to this, but it's one of the key traits that allows the driver to make the most of the car during the race. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, to subscribe to this channel and to leave your comments below.